guys. How y'all doing today? Oh my God, I haven't seen y'all in such a long time. This is Auntie Danny. How y'all doing? Like, I haven't seen y'all since before I moved, which was early April, I want to say. Yeah, like early April. I hope all is well with y'all. What's going on? Leave me messages in the comments. Let me know how y'all doing, how y'all family doing. You know what's going on what's new in your life let me know like it's so good to get back on camera i was doing a lot of things i was preparing for a move i was still recovering i am now 10 weeks and two days post out mm -hmm. i'm hype i feel good you know sometimes you get a little ache and a pain every now and again but you survive you survive you live so between that and then i moved and then trying to unpack and then still work and making sure my cable ooh, showing y'all a little too much um making sure the internet works so i can work you know from home seamlessly i was doing that so you know just Getting things in order. I like where I live at, which is up the street from where I used to live. Like when the guys moved me, and so what I did was I went on uhaul.com. I ordered a U-Haul. I know how to drive a U-Haul. I drove U-Haul several times. So when you get on it and you get your U-Haul. They also have like a, a third party site where you can get um, movers to help you. And what they do is they drive to your house in their car and they pack and unpack you. Um, and then they drive, you know, to their, to the, to your destination and help you unpack. So it's really dope. Like you save money. Um, you don't have to lift anything. You just got to drive the truck to your new place. And when I say, they was like, oh, how far was it? I was like, it's not even five minutes. And when we drove there and got out, they was like, oh, you ain't lying. Like, that wasn't far at all. I was like, I told you, literally right up the street. So, yes, I am somewhere where people respect your quiet and know how to act above you. So that was one of my things. I was like, please. I didn't want to live below some someone, but this was the only apartment, but she had said that she doesn't get any noise complaints. And I've heard them walk, but they don't stomp, they don't run. I don't mind that. Like, I'm cool. So my neighbors are real nice. Oh my God, it's so sweet across the way. They got a beautiful pit bull named Bean, so sweet. And um, yeah, it's just been, me trying to just get back and say hi to you guys. So that's what I've been doing. That's what y'all been doing. Like, what's been going on with y'all? Yeah, I had to leave where I was at. Like, oh, well, my sister, my older sister came down. She helped me. She's such a blessing. You know, sometimes you never know. You never know. No, let me backtrack. I never knew I can be friends with my sisters, okay? I'm putting a little primer on my face so I don't be oily. I'm going out to a day party. It is a Harlem Nights Great Gatsby theme. So, I'm just getting ready for that. Um, yeah, I never knew that we can be friends and, you know, all of that growing up, not liking her and she being me. It's like, I feel like because we're so close in age now, mind you, we're not. Um, but I feel like because I'm over 40, <laughs> over 45, <laughs> and she is um, older than me, that I don't know. I just feel like. We just be chilling. We go out to eat, we laugh, we joke, we watch TV. You know, like I said, she helped me so much. Like, I'm, I'm forever grateful for her coming down and helping me because I was still recovering. Like, I was, hmm, 
was that? So this was a that was like six weeks post op. So yeah, I was I was feeling a little like, mm. but you know I sucked it up and got it done. And I got it done, baby. So like I said, I'm going out. So you know, to me, what I think of like Harlem Nights and Great Gatsby, like I love a good lash. Yeah, I know that. And I love a good red lip. <laughs> so I'm gonna get myself together. Um, I'm putting on my Pro Filter Foundation, my Riri. And this is in 440. I'm putting that on. I got my edges laying down. I got my hair braided last week. I'm slowly getting myself back together, you know. You know, when you have surgery and you recovering, you know, sometimes you don't give a good goddamn what you look like. You know what I'm saying? You literally be like, I just want the pain to go away. So, yeah, I went and got my hair done last week, got my nails done, got me a little almond shade. She was like, uh oh, Danielle getting up, uh -uh, upset. Uh oh. Sound like it's gonna be crazy this summer. I was like, it just might. Um, so, yeah, I've just been trying to take care of myself. Self care, like, self care. So, after I wash my face, I've been using, um, I brought a turmeric soap, all natural turmeric soap. So, I've been using that. And um, after. I haven't done my makeup in a minute. Yo, I'm getting a little face to Jay. I want my base to be, I need my base to give what it needs to give. You understand me? I'm not gonna be out here looking nuts. Make sure you just get it a little down on that. Please don't be looking two toned out here like a pair of two toned jeans from the 80s. Please don't do that. Okay, just so blend it all of that in. Just giving your skin. All right, now. I'm going to do my eyebrows. These eyebrows are needed, honey. I did my eyebrows this morning. I shaped them up. So after I wash my face with the turmeric soap, I, you know, I'm always buying things. Um, this is Pearl Essence. This is a, um, a hemp seed oil. Let me see if I can. See if y'all can see. It's because the the packaging is white. This is hemp seed oil for the face. And because this is white, you really probably won't see this. But got these both from Marshalls. They're 24 karat gold peptide infusion illuminating face serum from Pearl Essence. So did those two there. So, you know, I brush my brows up. You know, sometimes I go to the, when I go to get my nails, I'm going to be like, I'm going to get my eyebrows done here. I'm just not a fan of that waxing. That ripping is, um, it's traumatizing, you know. <laughs> I remember um, years ago, I mean, years ago, I got these eyebrows waxed. Glory Tear, Denzel Glory Tear came down, and I had put this rash, like, my eyes were literally like swollen, like looking down. And I was like, yeah, we're not doing that again. So I started getting um, shaped up with a razor. Love that. Best thing. Oh, you know what I forgot to put on? Oh, man. Forgot to put on my Rihanna fat water. Child shoes. All right, so let me do these brows. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come back and show you what my brows look like, but I'm going to do it off camera, okay? 
Welcome back, guys. So these are my brows. Okay. You know, sometimes it takes me a little minute, you know, to get it where I need to be. So I said, let me pause for the cause. All right, babe. So that is done. All right, moving right to long. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to set them with some brow gel. So they don't move while I do the shimmy. You ever want to hear a song like, it reminds you of a thing. So you know I'm going to keep Great Gatsby, all the nice thing. And all I'm thinking about, <laughs> all I'm thinking about is this song right here. Tommy Matola. Legs on the road. He lost his lady two months ago. Maybe he'll find her. Ha! Maybe he won't. I wonder. That's what I feel like, you know. It's a little vocal for you, you know. A little vocal. <laughs> I miss y'all. I know I'm crazy. So what I'm going to do right now, darling, is you know, why am I talking crazy? What I'm gonna do now, darling, is just do a little highlight, a little contour, a little bit, a little contour. to do too much. I'm trying to do just enough. You understand? So what's your plans for the summer? Like, you know, the world is opening up, as they say. What is your plans? Hmm? What y'all doing? Y'all planning on being in the street? Just want to highlight a little under the eye. See how that lights up a little bit. Get a little illuminating. See that? I always spray my, my blender, my beauty blender, because I don't want it to cake. I just want it to blend in seamlessly. See that? See how it's lightened up right under there? Now, what I'm going to do, when I tell you I'm all over the place, all over the place. Don't judge me. You know who to judge. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. See what I'm saying? Like, it's over there. I'm doing the most. I'm doing the most. I'm gonna take my black opal setting powder here. Well, I think this is a finishing powder. Let me see. Yeah, it's a finishing, but I, I use it to set. Cause you can. Okay. So I just take a little bit here. Put it under the eye here. Yeah, I'm ready to be out and about, like, you know what I mean? It's time. It is time. You know, we was out, we was, we was inside, you know, trust the process, I know I'm looking crazy. We was inside. We was inside last year, you know, half in, half out. You know, it was, was, wasn't too many places, but we was out and about. So this year, I'm trying to open it up. I'm grateful for that. 
Because I'm telling you, I really, I want to go outside and play. Please. <laughs> I want to go outside. I'm not one to ask people about their vaccinations. It's none of my damn business. But I just want everybody to be safe, however that may be for you. Whether you are taking vitamins and supplements, or whether you take the vaccine. I just want you to be safe, period. Okay? I'm not going to go on a tangent about it. I just want y'all to be good money. Okay. So, just going to give me, I'm just going to do like a natural um, eye shut up on the eye. Because again, I just want the focus to be on lashes and lips, baby. Lips and lashes, lashes and lashes. And you want the eye to be subtle. You know, you want to give a wink without giving too much eye makeup. It's just enough. Just enough to catch his eye. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, leave in the comments. What's your plans? What was your plans for the summer? The summer's right around the corner. Even though it feel like summer today. Y'all don't quite hear me. I hope, I hope my volume is up. I'm back, y'all. I was trying to turn up the volume and bop, bop, but I turned it off. So, anywho, just gonna continue what I was doing. Again, I was just doing a little subtle eye. Because, again, the focus is going to be the lash, the brows, and a little highlight. Okay? That's all we're doing. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm wearing a little jumpsuit that I got from the Nova, first name of fashion. I'll take pictures and insert them when I'm all dressed. But yeah, I'm trying to keep it cute. Let the accessories speak for itself. I have bought some accessories off of Amazon. The good, good brothers over there at Amazon. <laughs> um, for today. Yeah, I like how this eye has turned out. Very, bad, but very simple, but cute. Cute. You might be giving you too much, y'all. This is this is big on me now. I gotta get another one. Um <clears throat> all right. So where were we? Okay. So now we're gonna bronze. Bunchy bronze. I love a good bronze, eh? Y'all hear me? Love a good bronze. Eh? I don't play about my bronze. Okay. Okay. Let me finish off the eye. Did I say I was going to run the place, y'all? Bear with me. Bear with me. Look, I don't have no... I got to get, like, a little table or something. Like, I'm on my work table. Like, looking nice. Um, shut up. Crazy, ain't it? Put a little highlight on the brow bone, not too much, not too much. Let me settle. Not finished. Okay. Now 
what we're going to do is buff it out because we don't want it to just be sitting here. Okay, so we're just going to So you want to blend it together with the eyeshadow below so it's no harsh lines. Nope, not a harsh line in sight. Okay. Something about a harsh line sends me into a tizzy shot. Harsh line makes me very angry. Anyway, very, very, very angry. <laughs> it will make me want to fight. You hear me? There you go. That's it. I ain't got time for that. Like, don't be out here with no harsh lines. And say you know me. So I'm like, I don't know you, sis. There you go. Boom. Okay, what was that for? Doing the most. Okay, let's get back to this. Let's do some bronzing. Do some bronze So I'm gonna keep it like golden, bronzy, you know. Open that. This so when the sunlight hits you a certain way, you take that picture. Ooh. Honey. So I got my little wrap thing on so I can't quite get over there. But when I take it off, I will get where I need to be. Okay. Oh, I feel so good in here. And I know it's hot outside because I had this window open. And my top lip was starting to sweat like I was on the cocaine. And I, I don't even do cocaine. I never even touch the cocaine. It's nothing. No. Nope. Don't get me out here. So let me put this hair on while I'm doing this here. So I'm gonna be out here looking nuts. That's what you want, baby. You want your skin to look like skin. And you wanna make sure. <clears throat> You ain't out here with a harsh line. No harsh lines. Oh, so yeah. Um, what else can I talk to you about? So like I said, I'm in, I am healing very well. And that's a blessing. That is a blessing. You know, you got to do all the things so that you can heal. You know, you gotta put scar gel on. You gotta put on, um, I put vitamin E on my skin because it really helps with that. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, just taking care of yourself, taking care of your wounds, watching what you eat. And I'm, I'm gonna be transparent. 90% of the time, I'm eating good. But if I get a craving for something, I don't know what it is, y'all. I go to get it. Oh, not even greedy. I'll be like, I want it. Um, so I'm using this Juvia's palette, the Berries palette, but 
you know so crazy like i like this palette also for like a little blush just a little just a touch just a touch they were blush back in the 20s didn't they they probably had it looking like rouge but we ain't doing that today sis no ma'am we're not doing that so take that and just lightly buff it in to the skin you don't want a harsh red so i put the put the eyeshadow which is acting as a blush on one side and then i turn it on the other side and buff it lightly okay so that's done now So now we're going to go to the eye. So this is my favorite. I'm looking in the mirror. So it's my favorite blue liner. Mm, I am being child. I don't know where I'd be. I don't know. I don't know where I'd be. And if you feel like you ever put too much blush on, take Wherever you had your finisher on or your your powder on, and you just dab it. It'll soften it right on up. You see that? Dropping jewels out here, son. So this is also a blush palette. I like to mix blushes. It's all about knowing your colors and blends, you know? These are the colors in here, very soft, very bronzy. Because we, we know we want for that look. So I think I'm gonna go with a little Yara and and oh, I think I'm gonna go with a little Yara first, which is like that brown. Just put it over the blush I put, which was the shadow. Oh yeah, I like that. It just looks very subtle. And then I'm going to do Zova, which is this one down at the bottom. A little Zova. Yeah, baby. All right. And you know, the face is done. <laughs> you know. Um, the face is sitting as usual. <laughs> I sit in the face sits. Um, so I'm going to do a, sh a lash. So now this is the lash I'm going for. I get my lashes from Bomb Extensions. And this is the L. This is the name of the lash. It's called L. So I'm going to pause for the pause. Cause you know I gotta cut, cut it and make sure it lines up right for me. Um, Cause you just can't put it on, cause then it could look any old way. You have pieces sticking out, you have pieces hurting your eyes. So I'm gonna trim it the way I usually trim it, and come back and show you how the eye looks. All right, y'all, I'm back. The lashes are on. I love a good lash. And now I'm just doing a little mascara on that lower lash. Okay. I like bomb extensions because they are reusable. Like you clean them and you put them back in. Put it back in here. After you clean it, close it up. You can. I've used lashes several times. Love it. I feel like you get your money's worth. And they are inexpensive too. Fluffy, inexpensive, good quality. You know, when you do buy lashes, strip lashes, you should tweak it to your eye. You shouldn't just throw them on. Okay. <laughs> the eye looking nuts. 
Okay, so that is done. And then I'm going to put on, you know, you know, Auntie Eyes, Cherry Blossom, baby. It's my favorite red ever. <clears throat> so what I do is I do line my lip because I don't want the red to run. So mm, you see how that lash is sitting on it? Mm. You see that? I'll make the line super crazy. But just enough. Like I don't want my lip to be runny. It smells like cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. What did I tell y'all ladies? Amen, if y'all want to wear. Make sure them tea look white. Always take my time with a red lip. Definitely want to take your time. the look and I'm gonna pause y'all for one minute I'm gonna get the little headpiece to make it look like you know I'm about to sing Tommy Natola I ain't gonna sing it for y'all again I know y'all sick of it mm. hold on guys I'm back sugars so yeah this is the finished look hope you guys like it mm -hmm. Why don't you come and see me sometime? <laughs> and you know what I want to say. Always will be my friend. Shay Shay La Thank you guys for watching. And at the end of this, I'm going to post some pictures with the ensemble on. And the pearls and the gloves and the whole look. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. It's me again, Auntie Danny, and I love you guys. Bye.